Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. And by another episode, I mean a brand new series. As you can probably guess just by looking, it's a Viking theme series. Yeah, using vanilla faction expanded Vikings and, of course, our usual assortment of vanilla expanded mods and other mods, which hopefully this time I'll remember to actually make a list of to put on Steam before even starting this series, just to avoid any issues there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're using one of the starting scenarios, which, um, yeah, it uh, starts with us immediately raiding someone else and presumably taking over their town. And you know what I like about this? It's all made of wood, so I can fairly easily get rid of it if I don't like it. Though, to be honest, this, I mean, this looks kind of passable as a Viking settlement. I think, maybe. I should probably look into it. I mean, it's got some defenses. All I really need to do is, uh, I feel like I said defense is weird. Defenses. Anyway, <laughs> you know, just expand this. This could be like the central Great Hall, and then we could have some stuff kind of surrounding around it. But you know what? I should look into that. What, uh, you know, a proper, you know, Viking Age village would have looked like. And also, there's a conveniently nearby anima tree that is just outside the range of all this buildy stuff. Though I kind of think it would be cool to build our base here. It's a very nicely fortified area, which, full disclosure, I used um, map designer and map reroll to get it just right. Which, you know what, since I did that, might as well open up the old mod settings and boobly boobly boop ba doop Map designer, there we go. Let's have a look at what our settings are, so you can recreate something like this if you want to play along at home. Let's kind of go slowly there. Feel free to pause the video if you need to take a little peek at stuff. Here's our terrain. A little bit of that. We got our things. Ah, shoot, I forgot to bump up Ancient Dangers because I like ancient ruins and stuff on the map. But honestly, you know, that that's okay. It's all right. Got some rivers, we got uh, rich soil along the riverbanks here, which uh, I did a test run before and it created way, way too much uh, <laughs> rich soil. And no added features, so the only added features are perfectly round lakes and natural lakes. Kind of cool if uh, there's an option to force spawn caves and stuff, because caves are always cool, but you know what, that's perfectly fine one way or the other. And map reroll, of course, just lets you reroll the map, but I've already committed to this map, so that's it. Also, this is uh, Music Manager, real handy. Anyway, that's, uh, that's that, so let's, <clears throat> excuse me, get into the game, shall we? I think the one mod that I didn't add that I should have added was, um, oh, what is it? It's, uh, it's some kind of mod that makes and or makes your pawns automatically target, you know, the next enemy to fight when they have killed or incapacitated whoever it was that they were. Oh, look at that. Whoever it was that they were going to fight. Anyway, so here we are. You know what? I didn't set. Uh... Oh, God. There's like. No real doctors here. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh wait, no. Doctoring should be a top priority. So, you can be patient and bed rest secondary. Alright. Let's, uh... Eh, maybe I shouldn't worry about this. Um, still trying to... Still trying to master that better usage of... You know, setting up priorities and such, but uh, we'll get there. And all of our animals, actually, while everyone's walking, let's, uh, I want to train them. Normally, I don't have our animals attack, but uh, as this is a low-tech medieval scenario, hey, you guys are already bonded to people, are you? Wait. Bonded to Freya. Oh, maybe this just didn't update right away. And who are you bonded to? To Rollo. And the rest of you, I'll just give to people at random. There we are. Bill says you're unhappy, even though I've put you with who you're bonded to. Why is that? Oh, well, you know, it's 
probably not a big deal. You do you, dogs. <clears throat> okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I don't think they're that tough. Also, you know, let's have a quick look at the factions while we're heading here. The only non-medieval tech faction, well, aside from, I guess, technically the bugs, are the Imperium of God. That is, that is a very, uh, very thematically appropriate name, I guess. But, uh, yeah, there's actually a mod that I think, um, limits, uh, even, even the royalty factions to medieval tech only. So, that's a cool... Also, for anyone who may follow along at home, uh, you may notice that these are fogged up, but if you're playing, they are not. It's because I used dev mode to fog things up before we zoomed in and took a look and started recording, because I want what's in here to be as much a mystery to me as it will end up being to you guys. I'm going to have Half Dan and Eric uh, sneak on over here. And meanwhile, our melee people will advance. Uh, excuse me, I said our melee people will advance. But you guys, like, I guess they don't care <laughs> what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to put in a mod that lets, uh, lets our fellows here, uh, you know, automatically start attacking. And. Actually, you know what? I don't want you to go away from uh, the relatively safe proximity. All right, we're we're taking some hits, but uh, I have some confidence. Also, half Dan is everyone else is like in their twenties or thirties, young guys. We've got like seventy-one year old half Dan here, who he's really only on this raid because he's trying to. He's just too good. He wants to die and go to Valhalla, but he just, he just can't die, so there we, there we go. Come on, take, take him out, or her, whoever you are. Yeah, there we go. And you know what uh, really makes me happy about this? No one actually fell. And by that, I mean, you know, none of our guys. Oh, you know what else is another thing I forgot to show off is uh, our difficulty settings. We're on Freya Fierce. As the usual, we're on, you know, save anytime, just because if something goes wrong, I want to be able to reload from a save forever than be stuck with it. Um, I believe I set it to uh, strive to survive for the beginning, uh, but I lowered colonist instant kills to 60%, just because I have a feeling, uh, given the nature of this playthrough, there's going to be a lot of people dying anyway, and just instant kills don't feel fun. Same idea here, and lower this just a little bit. I might actually lower this as far to 50%. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Whatever whatever feels right, really. Okay, so Strick here. He's a weaver. Do we want him? He's a crafter, a grower. I mean, he's a great grower. Uh, he's got a great memory. He's a quick sleeper. He's also a cannibal. That's kind of concerning. But uh, he has a morbid meditation focus type. What does that mean? Uh, I know there's a somewhere I can see that in better detail, but... Off the top of my... Oh, there we go. So, graves and sarcophagi give him more meditation focus. Which is really only useful if we get, like, psychic powers, which... Did you get really hurt? You just got a couple of bruises. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, there goes Stanley. Who, uh, is a pretty undergrounder with an annoying voice. He is also bisexual. Wait, are, is every, apparently everyone in this, uh, in this particular, uh, settlement is bisexual. Well, everyone who's still alive. I don't really care about the people who aren't alive. Hmm, and that's curious. Ace, my dog, seems to be intrigued by si- excuse me. Oh, right, claim. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> we shall claim all of this as our own. That way we can look inside and see what's going on. Curious, I'm not expecting anyone. Maybe there's someone mailman might be by. He does like to bark at the mailman. 
Uh, let's see, who else? Can, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go check up on that, and I will catch up with you by and by. Or at least, you know, let's take a look at what the buildings are. Then we'll cut ahead and see what's going on by the by. Alright. Pretty, uh, straightforward little town, isn't it? Actually, are you gonna bleed to death? Well, you got 16 hours and you got 10 hours. So, there's definitely time. Anyway, I'll be right back. Alrighty then, so we're back, and let's, uh, let's get this thing started by allowing everything. Not a, not a bad stockpile of, of gear, I've got to say. So, with that in mind, let's, uh, let's create a nice little stockpile zone. And we'll just stockpile everything in there. And again with, uh, Strick. I mean, he's probably worth keeping. Uh, what about the other guy? Stanley, yeah, there you are. Uh, I mean, the annoying voice, that's a little unfortunate, but uh, he's pretty, so it makes up for it, I guess. As long as he doesn't talk, people <laughs> will be okay with him. And he's also a good grower. I guess if we had one of those, uh, you know, slave labor mods, we could also uh, <laughs> just put them to work. But you know what? I'm not that kind of guy. So... I figure. Let's uh, go ahead and unrecruit everyone and let them go about their lives. Uh, let's see here. Got a plan. Oh, these are ebony beds. Wow, fancy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make these. These are gonna be medical beds. And these are going to be prisoner beds. Yeah, I know it affects the whole room. Thank you. All right. So none of our... Oh, you're alive too. Naoki. Who is also bisexual, a teetotaler, a fast walker, and a hard worker. Double passion for mining and cooking, though not terribly good at either. Uh, double passion for intellectual. Pretty social. Pretty artistic. I mean, I guess we can do something with all of these people. So we will. And you're- that's a corpse. So let's also go over everyone's health. Actually, you know what occurs to me? If I just set everyone to attack, probably wouldn't require any mods at all. I wouldn't- Oh god, you lost a toe. Well, that's, uh, you're okay. Um, you're also okay. Got 23 hours before you die. You know, I hate the constant loss of toes and things in just the little uh, bits. I hate that. If there's anything I hate in RimWorld, it's that. Everything else is pretty okay as far as I'm concerned, but I hate the constant loss of toes. And this is deep ocean, so we can't cross it. And you know what's really lovely? No one can spawn in this corner of the map. In fact, the only way anyone can show up is if they either come up here, like literally try to come up the river, which will slow them down, or throw here. The only way we could ask for more is if this was more of a choke point. But frankly, it's still pretty good, and we can turn it into more of a choke point if we so desire. You know, maybe build uh, some walls along the edges here. I think that could be pretty sweet. Alright, so that's, uh, that's that. Though, as I said, I, I do kind of want to move things this away, but for the time being, this will this will do. Also, nice hair. All right, so we wanna we wanna try recruiting everyone. How is everyone's health? Ten hours, sixteen. Hours. You know what? That's actually kind of helpful with the equipment we've got. Uh, with low tech, people who don't die immediately are probably you know they're gonna have a few hours to do their thing. Uh, I s what the heck is Ragnar getting- okay, they're bringing the medicine back. Stanley is already no longer incapable of walking. Oh yeah, and when it comes to medicine, let's make sure everyone can tend to themselves. What is Freya up to? 
Oh, oh, oh what, what, what's happening? Something's attacking something or has eaten something over here. That's a little scary. Also, we are using the Lord of the Rims Third Age mod to, assuming I can find it in here. Oh, I just don't have the tech. <laughs> um, it's around here somewhere. I don't know if it's its own tech or something I have to spawn in. But there is uh, some tech that allows us Hmm. To, um, make, uh, shelving and salt pots. Hmm. It's around here somewhere. We'll, we'll find it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll find it. Sounds like a rabbit getting murdered. And by murdered, I mean being hunted. Okay, well, you're, you're just dead. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Oh, for the love of... Oh, boy. Well, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Who still needs tending? You've got 13 hours. You have ze You know, just tend to yourself. If you're not gonna die, tend to yourself. I thought I had more time, but apparently not. Oh, good God. Why are you having a mental break already? Ravenously hungry. Fine, consume the pemmican. I'm sure you have time to save Stanley. You do not have time to save Stanley. Go save Stanley, please. Who else has a major break? It's just Freya. It's, it's very, very unfortunate what's going on here right now, but... Uh, 0% quality. Alright, um, where, where's Freya? Have you finished eating? You're tending? Tend to Ragnar, I want at least... <laughs> one of you to survive. Well, two of you, really, but, uh... Oh yeah, Ragnar is... He's bleeding to death, that's, that's a problem. Or, Eric, you're... You'll never do doctoring. Of course not. Half Dan. Oh, I can just tell this is gonna go poorly. You know what? Screw it. Everyone stop what you're doing. Quick, tend to Ragnar. You're the best doctor we've got. You're the only one who might be able to pull this off. Okay, there we go. Uh, Rollo, can you, uh, tend yourself? I don't think you can, because you have bloodlust. And you're incapable of caring. That's right. All very unfortunate things, but what you gonna do? And we need somewhere to drop the corpses of the dead, so let's, uh... Because that's gonna make people angry. Darn Vikings getting angry about... <laughs> about corpses. It's kind of a shame there wasn't a, um... A Viking trait or something added with the uh, Viking. Oh, yeah, we also, uh, well, I don't want to spoil too much about that, but we've got uh, some interesting stuff that can uh, transpire. Also, how do these uh, crossbows compare? 32 range, or 18 range, 32 damage, and we compare that to the recurve bow which uh, has 26 range and 14 damage. So it's more damage, less range. Yeah. And also more armor penetration and other such things. How's the Gladius? 6.24. I think our Viking weapons are better. All right. So, yeah, overall... Life is, uh... How's Eric doing? He's got 23 hours. He'll be... he'll be fine. Though he does have severe blood loss. Where the heck's... Did the coyote get killed by... No, surely not. Oh! Oh, no, that's just iron. Right, that's from Lord of the Rims right there. Uh, Eric, before you... R oh, yeah, you can't tend to yourself. 
We'll have to get Freya to do that. Let's uh maybe patch up all the blood or clean up all the blood and then head into Eric here so that he does not die. Because, you know, in general, we don't want people dying. Um, yeah. All right, so what do we really need to do to make sure that we're off to a great start? Well, let, let's gather up all these animal corpses here for starters. And after that, after that, you know what, let's, let's get rid of uh, some of the stuff we don't need, like all of this excessive, uh, yeah, excessive stuff. Get rid of that, don't need it. And... Uh, I think I'll keep this, because honestly, it, it's still good, and also Ace seems to be barking again for some reason. And you know what? It was nothing. He was barking at nothing. Well, nothing I could see, which I guess doesn't necessarily mean that uh, there was nothing, just that there was nothing that I could find. And do we really have no war? I guess it's... I guess it's just kind of you, isn't it? The rest of you have nothing better to do. You can get in there. You know, we probably should have stripped them. I mean, they don't have their weapons, but they do have other stuff. Like the shield. Mostly it's just the shield I would want to get rid of. Uh, Sigurdsson, you're not a constructor. Who is our best constructor? Who can, uh, maybe... You're passionate about it. Well, Sigurdsson is also passionate, just not good at it. Alright, I am... I'm not convinced we're actually getting on top here, so... Let's just have Rolo go in there and just cut the guy's legs off. That'll salt. Don't you dare break the door. Come on, take him down, Rollo. Future king of Normandy. Okay, and there we go. Problem has solved itself. And you know what? Just for that, you lost your clothes privileges. And you also caused your friend to lose his clothes privileges. So I hope you're happy. And you know what? We'll make this room another dumping stockpile for now. Yeah. Oh, though, you know what? I want to make sure there's no tainted apparel. Nothing tainted. We don't want that. There we go. Alright, get rid of all those clothes. Ragnar and Stanley are still in a pretty pretty tight spot, but other than that, I think... Let me need colonist beds. There's beds for everyone right here. Actually, that's not true. I, I lied. Uh, you know what? In that case, we'll just reinstall this bed over here. I mean, if we start hunting and get some butcher spots and everything, then we should be able to start making fur beds and working on, you know, all the various things that we would like to do. But, yeah, I think... I hate, I hate this duster ruining my immersion. But uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to completely force non-medieval stuff to be out of the game because of the potential that might have on uh, messing with, uh, like, the Empire and other, other stuff. Ah, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, uh, you know what? Let's, while I'm thinking about it, take a couple of medis uh, meditation spots around the old animus tree. There we are. That way people can do stuff over there. Anyone uh, about to have a mental break? I don't think so. It also seems to me that it's probably time to wrap this episode up, so I figure what I'll do is I'll probably fast forward into episode two when everyone has recovered or if something interesting happens before then. Like we get horribly raided or murderized or something. It would be a bad idea to have a muffalo. Let's tame a muffalo if we can as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this first episode. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. 
and I will see all you in the next video.